I don't want to start this episode out on a bad note, but I just want to apologize. This episode's not as exciting as my other ones, not as funny. I'm just, I've been struggling when it comes to fishing and getting content. Uh, the fish have not been cooperating, and today, this morning, the weather looked perfect. And I was so excited, couldn't even sleep last night. I was like, finally, we're gonna go out there and break this bad streak I've had and just catch so many smallmouth. And as the minutes turned into hours this morning and the cloud cover slowly dissipated, my feelings just went away with it. But this is why you don't give up. I, I do, do end up catching some fish. That's why there's an episode here. So don't give up. Persevere, try to find a solution. Kozak Outdoors, stay tuned for the episode. When you're doing outdoorsing, you should always keep your eyes open for any sort of free forage you might find out here in the wilderness. These are called prickly pears, and uh, they are actually very delicious and very nutritious. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of Kozak Outdoors. Smallmouth fishing style. Today we are back on the Potomac River, Upper Potomac, top secret spot. Uh, I don't know if you can tell, but I am bleeding. I am sweating. It is only uh, eight o'clock in the morning, so it's a little too early for all of those things. It's October, and we just walked a long way with our kayaks and then had a very difficult launch. But we're in the river, fishing a new section, a little bit less pressured, so maybe, just maybe, we'll catch ourselves a giant smallmouth bass. Cloudy skies today for the most part, Gonna focus on topwaters, Ned rigs, and small swim baits. Looking for a good fall smallmouth bite. Stay tuned. Yes! It only took 10 years. Yeah. <laughs> the skunk is gone. First of all, that is a gorgeous colored fish. Second of all, it's been four fishing trips since I've caught a bass. So that one's uh, extra special. Nice little cold water smallmouth on a micro swim bait. Let's get her back in the water. Swim home, my sweet prince. Swim home. Oh, it's a monster! Uh, yeah, that might be the smallest ever on Kozak Outdoors. The tenacity. Trying to go for my throat. Right for my jugular. You always gotta be ready with bass. They may only have sandpaper teeth, but they will latch onto your jugular and they'll just keep wiggling until they sand down your throat. Then you're done. So for those of you who don't know what getting skunked is, a term that I believe is used in like pickup basketball and stuff when you don't score any points. Well, it's also used in fishing when you don't catch any fish. So I've tried fishing four times over the past week and a half-ish, and I got skunked four times in a row. It's not a good feeling. So to catch, catch fish today, and it's taken 
has taken like four hours to put a fish in this boat to even get a bite. But just to catch a couple fish, it means a lot, even if they're not big ones. I think I just had another little bump. Ooh, hooked up with something, something good. Getting a little bit pulled around right now. Oh no, it was a bass. Oh, this is the story of my life as of recently. What are you doing? The bait's as big as you. Oh, this is bad. Hooked on the GoPro. <laughs> this is just a quality TV show. And by TV, I mean YouTube. Little 12 incher, 12 inch bronze. Toss her back. She actually hit the 4.8 inch Kitek. This is what I throw for largemouth. And I'm at the point today where uh, I'm just trying to catch big smallmouth. So of course, of course dinks are gonna hit this full size swim bait. This is why I love bass fishing. You can be struggling and all of a sudden you either figure something out or something in the weather changes. You learn how to cast. Uh, you figure something out and all of a sudden you're catching fish. So apparently the whole time I should have been covering as much water as possible throwing a bait that had a little bit of a blade on it. Which, oh, another one just followed my bait in. Which I should have known. Um, fall is a great time for spinner baits, but I'm very stubborn and don't like throwing spinner baits. I think I've already said this in another video, but Kitek makes absolutely, I think the best soft body swim baits that exist in the market right now. I did just order some of the new Guggen baits uh, saucy swimmers, I think is what they're called. Saucy. So those should be here. They actually might be here today, uh, waiting for me when I get home. So I will be putting those to the test and comparing them to the Kitex. They look very similar, and I'm pretty sure the boys in the Guggen squad purposely did that. I think they knew it was up with the Kitex, and I think they uh, possibly mimicked them. See how good, see if they're better, see if they're worse. It'll be another episode. Stay tuned to Kozak Outdoors. Oh man, I didn't know if I got a good hook set on that one. Oh, I did. Oh, I did. Yeah. She inhaled it. Absolutely inhaled it. Just another 14 inch beautiful Virginia smallmouth. Look at those eyes. I don't know if you can see them in this, with, the, with the shadow, but uh, they are gorgeous. Red, like a red marble with a gold around the pupil. Beaut. All right, little beaut. Yes! I think that's like four or five fish today. Tough day. Another one just jumped. We're gonna get back in the water. Very manly. Very, very manly. I don't even wanna hear anything in the comments about this. Just pretend it never happened. I will delete all this footage.
Heck yeah. I was actually just watching another bass cruising in front of me when this one hit it. Look at that little belly. She's pretty thick. She's actually a lot heavier than she looks. Um, it's about a one and a half pounder, maybe even getting close to two pounds, just how solid of a fish this is. Swim bait once again. She inhaled it, inhaled it. Coming out of a nice little current area. She's just sitting there waiting for stuff to get flushed down the river. Awesome, awesome fish. Today's lure of the day was the 4.8 fat swing by Kaitak, the fat impact swing. Uh, this one's head's bitten off because I wanted to keep using it and I was too lazy to get another one out of the bag, so I just bit the head off of this one once once the uh, once the original head was, was was all used up and torn. Just bit the top off of it, screwed it back on, it works. Well, I didn't catch a fish on it, so maybe it doesn't work. Uh, I noticed that there were groups of minnows in the water, uh, just hanging out in the eddies in large schools. And every now and then you'd see one kind of like flip over on its side from the current. And that is exactly what that little willow leaf looks like as it's coming through the water. Um, all of my fish today were in very shallow water. I tried fishing deeper with uh, finesse baits. Didn't have any bites. And then about halfway through the day, I switched over to throwing a moving bait and that's when I really started getting on them. I actually caught the first few or the first two, the decent one and the small one on a finesse version of this and then lost all of those real quick. Ended up using these, which I usually use for largemouth. Uh, I didn't think they would work great for smallies, but apparently 4.8 inches is a good size for smallmouth as well. So. You may have not learned anything today as far as fishing goes, but don't be afraid to kind of step outside of what you usually and, and typically think and uh, think outside the box. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's gonna do it for today. I have to drag my kayak up that very steep embankment behind me and then dolly it another mile down the dirt path. Uh, why? One word, dedication. One other word, stupidity. Thank you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Leave a comment. Kozak, out. Hey, it's me again. Did you forget to do what I just told you to do? Yeah, subscribe. Hit that little fish down in the corner. It's a little circular icon. My Kozak Outdoors, I made the icon on Microsoft Paint myself. It took like three days of just blood, sweat, and tears. So respect it and just click on it. Click on that little icon, it'll pop up and you just hit the, the subscribe button. It's free, it's easy, 